I, my oxygen was low and my breathing was just, it was horrible. You know, I, I just couldn't breathe. Uh, anxiety was ridiculous, you know, because I'm I was pretty healthy prior to contracting COVID and, you know, a healthy guy, you know, mentally here just can't breathe, you know what I mean? In the end, when, when that doctor walked in with a piece of paper, you know, I signed off on it because he basically told me if they intubated me, I would survive maybe two days and then, and then die from there. I didn't think I was going to make it at that point, you know. I had already made my peace that if I was going to die, I was going to die. But the only thing that, you know, kept, kept going across my mind was my three kids, you know. And it's like, you know, I can, I can come to peace with it, but leaving my kids behind, it's, that's hard. You know what I mean? Because they're so young. You know, I just, I had to fight. So, signed the paper, and that was the last thing I really remembered about my stay here at Wheeling Hospital. I woke up in the CVICU at Ruby Memorial in Morgantown. Uh, I've seen some of the videos. I guess I was flown out from here once they uh, cannulated me and intubated me. It was Dr. Prab Prabhakar. He did an excellent job. I'm still here, you know, because that, that surgery on its own with COVID, I guess the clotting and bleeding, it's a 50-50 uh, shot of surviving just that surgery. The medical staff at, at all three of the hospitals were su superb. And uh, with, without the decisions that they made, you know, I'd, I'd most likely be dead right now.